I paid $249 for a refurbished tablet-only Nintendo Switch from Newegg. I'm gonna open up the box, disassemble the Nintendo Switch, see exactly what, if anything, was refurbished, and if it was worth it. Okay, let's face it, it was not worth $249. But right now, Switch prices are crazy high, so to some people, maybe it would be. Let's do this. First things first, the packaging seems very adequate. It's not rattling around in there, unlike some other places, <coughs> GameStop. So let's take a look at the inside and see how well it's packed, then we'll get it apart. And here we go, packed nicely in a little bubble wrap bag. So that's nice. Now let's take a look at the Switch itself. So it's actually in really nice condition. There are no scratches on the back and I don't actually even see any scratches on the screen either. There's a couple little little marks, that's just dirt, so. And you can tell by this black piece that, I don't, this actually looks like maybe it's, it's practically brand new. This black piece has no wear marks from Joy-Cons and neither does this black piece. So it's possible this is brand new, but we're gonna find that out next when I take it apart. Now, before I get to the teardown, I do just wanna make sure that it does turn on and work. And I'll also try the Joy-Cons just to make sure those function as well. Something I noticed right away, it wasn't reset to factory settings. That's not necessarily a big deal, but it is something that is good to do for refurbishers and, okay. Thought that Joy-Con wasn't working, it just wasn't plugged in all the way, so I think we're good. Let's see if a game card works in it. And it does read games. Let's just make sure that no one's account is still on here. So there are some user accounts on here, but none of them are linked to Nintendo accounts, it looks like. So that's the good news. Let's just check the firmware. And we have version 6.2.0. So the Switch works fine. Everything seems to work normally. Now it's time to take it apart and see if they actually refurbished anything on the inside. I'm gonna be using my favorite precision electric screwdriver. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you wanna buy one of these for yourself. I love them, they work great, and they save my fingers and wrists from the constant twisting. For any of you who aren't familiar, Newegg is actually a selling platform. So just because you buy something from Newegg doesn't mean it actually comes from Newegg the company. It likely means that it came from a seller on Newegg. That's how Amazon works, that's how Walmart works, that's how a lot of these platforms work. So whether or not this switch is good doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're gonna get if you buy one from Newegg. I'll leave a link down in the description below for the actual seller that I bought this from, so if there's any more, then you can get one for yourself. This is an affiliate link, and I will get paid a commission if you use this link and purchase something from Newegg.com. Judging by all the screws and everything being in such good condition, there's not even any dust at all on these black strips of tape right here. Usually there's dust on these because this is right where the airflow comes in from these this grill right here. So a lot of times that will collect dust. There's absolutely nothing on this switch. I'm gonna get this top plate off so we can look at it a little bit more and see if there's any indication that anyone's been in here. This video is part of an ongoing series where I buy refurbished consoles from various retailers to see what their refurbished consoles are really like and if anything has actually been refurbished on them. The last video I made about this was a refurbished PS4 from Wish. I'll put a link for that video up at the end of this video so you can click on that and check that out and see how Wish did with their refurbished PS4. Okay, and here we go. So everything looks pristine. I can tell that the heat pipe hasn't even been taken off because this material right here would have to be either broken or taken off of the fan in order to get it off and it has not been taken off. It is in pristine condition. Also another thing you notice, the thermal paste looks really good. It's, you know, kind of dry but pretty typical for a Nintendo Switch. And same with this thermal paste right here. Actually, this part is pretty wet over here, so that's actually in really good condition still. And overall on the inside, I see absolutely nothing wrong. The motherboard is in very good condition, no indication of any sort of, sort of damage or liquid damage. The liquid damage indicator is white with red dots instead of turning pink, as you would see with liquid damage, so it's in very good condition. I do need to check one other thing, and that is to make sure that it charges. Now it's time to see if this switch charges. 
and it definitely does charge. This refurbished Nintendo Switch tablet from Newegg is in pristine condition. It looks brand new. If you like this type of video, I made a video about buying a refurbished PS4 from Wish, so click on that video and see how the refurbished PS4 from Wish really looked on the inside. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a good one.